All right, so this is my story. I've got this wind chime here. I made a bracket for it not too long ago. And <clears throat> it's not working out only because this uh, flapper down here keeps hitting the pole, which is kind of irritating. And so I'm going to move it, make another bracket out of aluminum, and mount it on the outside here so it doesn't hit the pole. So let's get to it. Let's get the aluminum. We'll cut it and weld it and show you how it goes. All right, so what I need here is a piece 10 by 10 <clears throat> or 10 inches long. Actually, it's going to be 5 by 5. I'm going to cut it in half. And not cut it all the way. I'm going to cut it like, I don't know, 80% of it. Let it leave 20% so I can just bend it. So let's go ahead and cut our piece real quick. Won't take long. It's a little bit. out. I'm going to measure five inches. By the way, I need one of these holes. This other one, I'm just going to fill it, get rid of it. I don't need it. I want it to look uh, like I ignored that stupid hole. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, but not all the way. I'll go maybe, I don't know, two-thirds of the way just so I can bend it. Here we go. Take a look. A little more. Okay. I'm done here. I cut it and left some meat on there so I could bend it. I'm going to heat it up real quick just so I can bend it and get my torch ready and no. we'll go to the next video here real quick. Alright, now I'm going to heat it up get my torch. Hopefully there's not gas in there. the tip of the torch or the flame is always the hottest. You're probably right. Hopefully this is enough. I'm going to bend it. not enough heat. Take it to a 90. I'll secure it so it stays at a 90 and I'll fill this in with weld. All right so let me get, all, get, up, get it all set up and I'll show you how to weld it. All right I've got it set up. I don't like to use a square to keep it square but I'm just going to go ahead and make a few tacks so it doesn't pull out and stay square and then I'll take this square off. Um, I've got the machine set right now at 135. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll show you in a minute. If that works out, then I'll show you the other settings. All right, so here's the deal. I raised it to 180, and I think I'm gonna go even higher, probably 195. Because this is like three sixteenths, uh, could be a quarter, could be a little, I don't know, I haven't checked that. I think it could be a quarter, but it needs a lot of heat, so let me show you what else I've got here. 
I do have it set for 180. I'm going to raise it. Uh, oh, let's say 196. Um, then the balance is 75, and I got 120 hertz. Okay, so that's where we're at with it, and that's what we're going to do, and see what happens. All right. I can't show you while I'm welding because this camera won't be able to handle it, so I'll have to show you after it's all done. Alright, so I'm halfway there. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Um, seems to be welding pretty well at 195. Um, I need to clean some of that aluminum off of there a little quick. And then I'll show you the uh, actual finished product when it's all done. Like I say, I'm halfway there. All right, it's officially done. I just have to uh, sand it down and round it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. And again, when it's all done and finished, I'll show you the finished product in a minute. All right. All right. Well, this is pretty much the finished product. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and use these two holes and this hole. And so I don't have to fill this one up. And then I added a hook to this. Since this is steel, I uh, welded a nut on the other side. I don't know if I can show you. Oop, there we go. I just welded a nut to the hook. So, yes, it can turn, but who cares? So there it is, finished product. I'm going to go install it and see how it works out. It'll go like this, up against the, uh, the beam on the uh, patio. So let's go do that. All right, so there you have it. It's all done. Can't see much here in this uh, sunlight, but hopefully it'll capture the bracket. And now it's away from the pole. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the other side.